What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video uh, on Saturday. I know I haven't really done no figure videos lately, but figure videos will start coming in. Scale figures are coming in. So for the meantime, while scale figures come in and I move stuff around my room, uh, I'll just be speaking out anime, kind of different stuff like that, news on Gotcha Game, or different stuff like that. Uh, in the meantime, on Saturdays, but uh, figures are coming in, so. I'll be doing more figures, uh, reviews, or unboxings down the line. But I want to talk about delays and uh, will delays ruin 2023 for anime? And uh, I'm watching Otaku Spirits uh, podcast. This recent podcast they dropped and, uh, today. Today being Tuesday. Uh, my video is out today, which is Saturday. Uh, and the podcast is called State of Anime 2023. And they kind of get into more details about the anime industry. You know, you guys check it out. They go more into more details about that. Uh, I just want to speak on the aspect of the delays. Will delays ruin anime? For this year, at least, because uh, apparently they've been uh, looking for animators outside of Japan, and that uh, uh, specifically in China, and in, in China, COVID's a bit still a issue. That's why there's been delays, and uh, that's why uh, it's been a lot of delay. Like near Mod, near Mod is finally back. Uh, Cobra One and Being Invisible is still. In Definite, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Bufuri's episode 7 got delayed not too long ago. Uh, so many delays everywhere. So many delays everywhere. So I just want to, I don't know, give my two cents. Like, uh, will this ruin anime 2023? Because let's be honest, uh, anime 2023 has started a little slow in a sense. Uh, I mean, there's some good stuff out there, but this has been a little slower since then, 2022, even though Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan will be back uh, this year, hopefully. Hopefully these delays and uh, other stuff just doesn't ruin it, because uh, some of the stuff, most of the stuff I'm watching has gotten delayed, or that I wanted to watch has gotten delayed, <laughs> which sucks for me personally. But it is a thing. Oh, Black Clover got pushed back. I made a video on that, but copyright claim because I showed something in the background, a small screen. Anyways, whatever. It's and then Disney's not helping. Sorry, Disney, but you're not helping the fact that. Some of this stuff is region locked to recently uh, summertime rendering. We just got it not too long ago. Hulu has it to be more specific. Uh, shout outs to Hulu, Hulu's been coming in clutch. Um, but yeah, it's like. <sighs> you guys want more details in this? Watch the Taco Spirits. They're going, they're going into details, kind of speculating on stuff. Uh, they're speculating uh, on high dives current position because AMC bought high dive last year and I had a discussion with my friend uh, the friend I was tell you guys about uh, that I feel like <laughs> high dive needed to be bought but not by AMC but by Microsoft you know Sony's rival biggest rival out there because uh, Sony has obstacle Funimation uh, they have a lot of the big names under them, and uh, I told my friend, and you know, uh, I think you know, if Microsoft steps in, gets high dive that boost they need, you know, to get some some. If you watch my video from Saturday. I'm speaking uh, on the update the high dive needs on its consoles because it needs some, it needs an update, and it needs it badly because the app. The consoles, being honest, it's not the great, it's not the best. Uh, but going back to 
you know, I, I no, this is just me saying though. Microsoft would have been a better fit, uh, at least to me, buying high dice. It could be, you know, just kind of put a thorn on Sony's side, as in, you guys want to give us a hard time with this deal? Us trying to buy Activision, we'll, we'll compete against y'all in the anime industry, which is it's gonna be hard, obviously. But yeah, uh, I'm just hoping because high dive is great. If you guys don't have high dive, I recommend you get it. They have a lot of great anime. I mentioned it, they got Damanchi, Made the Best, they got a lot of good stuff. They got a more build just recently that nobody picked it up. High Dive has it. For those of you that were excited for that, you can watch it on High Dive. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just hope things go great for High Dive. But I just hope no more delays because I think Kobe, like I said, Kubo won't be invisible. I think that one's still indefinite. Uh, like I said, Nier Mata just came back before we got affected with episode 7 got pushed back a couple weeks. I think it came out already. I'm not sure. I didn't even look back into that. Uh, a lot of delays, a lot of stuff getting ruined, which sucks. Uh, hopefully it, it doesn't it doesn't make 2023 a year that we're just not looking forward to. Because uh, it was a year that a lot of us were looking forward to because Studios of Kaizen, Demon Slayer, uh, Attack of the Titan. A lot of great anime was coming back and uh, hopefully it just... Stuff settles down in the anime industry and things go back to normal and we get our weekly episodes because we already get anxious waiting a week. <laughs> we don't need no delays. I'm just saying, we don't need no delays. Delays to me, like I, like I said in the other video, I completely stopped watching anime. Well, not completely, cause still, I was still watching My Hero at the time. Uh, but that's like the only one I watched during 2020. Everything else that was getting released, like, I don't even know. To be honest, I just kind of just didn't bother keeping up with it. <sighs> Man, I just hope. Yeah, I'm ranting at this point. They just hope delays don't ruin anime 2023. Uh, like I said, you guys want more in depth? Go to the Talk of Spirits podcast that, that released. It's called State of Anime 2023. Check it out. Uh, this kind of what I mean. Make this video. Hoping, uh, wish the best for High Dive. I'm personally. They would have had deeper pockets with Microsoft, but that's just me. <laughs> and just, like I said, Microsoft just put like another little thorn on Sony to compete against them. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I don't even know what else to say because I just don't want delays to ruin enemy this year. So hopefully they don't. Hopefully everything goes back to normal they get the animators they get the people they need in the industry to where things go back to normal and nothing else gets delayed hopefully but i'm gonna just say this expect more delays just in case i'm not saying more stuff is gonna get delayed but just in case expect more stuff to get delayed but hopefully not hopefully I don't have to wait any longer for Black Clover because we waited long enough. And I want the movie. I want the movie bad. But anyways, thank you guys for listening. What do you think? Will we get more delays? Will we not? Remember, subscribe, like, and comment down below. What do you think? Hopefully nothing else happens. And we go back to normal and we get our weekly episodes. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Be safe. And keep on watching it.